have it away. And don't you forget what I told you. Come on, Sybil. I want my mom. <laughs> She'll be halfway home by now. <laughs> Come on, Sybil. No, I'm waiting here till she comes back for me. That'll be the end of term. If the new girls aren't at Walker's Gate by five, they get locked out. Good, because I've got no intention of going in. I know all about Cackle's Academy. My sisters told me everything. She was winding you up. The second years turn into wolves and bite you on the nose. And if you cry, they lock you in the dungeons. And they're bound to do that to me, because I cry really easily. <laughs> Rubbish. And there's a big gang that goes around picking on kids and casting foul spells on them. And their leader is the worst of them all. The worst witch in the entire school. Mildred Hubble. Down a bit. Left. No, I said left. I mean right. Hover slowly, slowly. Down a bit more. Yes, super smooth. A real second year landing. <laughs> Typical. The only time anyone notices me is when they do something dreadful. <laughs> Maud! Millie! <laughs> Ruby, Jelly, Enid! It's been ages. Weeks. Months. Centuries. <gasps> wow, Ruby, look at your hair. <laughs> My sister did it. And Maud, your glasses, they're so cool. My dad got them from Barcelona. <laughs> Jadu, that's beautiful. Mm. Thanks, Millie. Hey, look at these. Earrings. Extreme. <laughs> They're not pierced. My mom said I wasn't. You weren't old enough. enough. Right. <laughs> Do you think I've grown taller? Do you think I have? <laughs> <laughs> Here, look at this. Is it real? What do you think? Wow, great. We better be careful HB doesn't see us. I see everything, Mildred Hubble. I'm really sorry, Miss Harbour, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Penny, Grizz. Oh, mighty third years. Mightily amazed third years. Have you seen Ethel Hallow yet? No. She and Drusilla spent all last year trying to get me thrown out. I don't want to see her. Oh, you do. You really do. She's different. Really different. Ethel, I've given myself a makeover, Drusilla, that's all. A magical makeover? A witch-over? That's right, but why? For fun. But it turned out so well that I've decided to keep it. But what about HB? What's she gonna say? That's all been taken care of. For goodness sake, Drusilla, it's not as though I look completely different. What are you all staring at? If anybody says a word, just one word, I'm going straight to Miss Hardbroom. That won't be necessary, Ethel Hallow. If that is indeed to whom I am speaking. Please, Miss Hardbroom. Yes, yes, we've read the note from your father, Ethel. Your parents have given their permission. So I suppose that is the end of the matter. Thank you, Miss Hardbroom. So, when the rest of you have finished gawping like demented goldfish, you might like to go and greet the new girls in the traditional manner. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of, Sybil, I promise. Come in. No! Walker's gate, Walker's gate. Bite your nose off if you're late. Mommy won't come when you cry. Time you witches learn to fly! <laughs> Poor things, they all look so tiny. So sweet and innocent. Let's smile at them and show them we're harmless. Mildred Hubble, what's yours? No! Not the dungeons! Please! Mildred, you haven't been back at school five minutes and you're up to your old tricks already. No, I'm not, Miss Harper. Deary me, what on earth has happened to this poor girl? It wasn't me, Miss Cackle. I didn't do anything. She only smiled at them, Miss Cackle. A likely story. It's true. I am Miss Cackle, your headmistress. And this is Miss Hardbroom, the deputy head. Tell us what it is that's upset you. You speak up, girl. No need to be afraid. <laughs> it wasn't their fault, Miss Cackle. We were only trying to be kind to her. I'm glad to hear it, Mildred. Perhaps you and Maud can show Sybil, isn't it? And her friend? Clarice. Up to their rooms. First, put your brooms over here. 
And you two third years can help me tidy up the staff room. Yes, Miss Cackle. I can't find a thing, including Miss Bat and Miss Gimlet. Miss Cackle's all right, really. She's quite kind-hearted. In a terrifying kind of way. And Miss Hardbroom? She's terrifying in a totally petrifying kind of way. She's your class tutor. She was ours last year, but this year we've got Miss Gimlet, so HB won't be breathing down her necks all the time. Nope, she'll be breathing down yours. You have a special half hour with her every morning. And you have her for potions as well. Out of the way, girls! Get a move on! That's Miss Drill. She's not so bad. If you like long distance runs in the pelting rain. And then there's Miss Bat. She's... Bats? Utterly and completely. She sleeps in the staff room cupboard. Miss Bat, the summer holidays are over. We need you to come out and start your chanting classes. Miss Bat? I'm here! Am I late? Good job somebody left the door open. I couldn't stop this crazy thing. We were wondering, Miss Bat, where you were. In a Mongolia. You mean Outer Mongolia, don't you? No, don't think so. There's no such place as Inner Mongolia. If there's an Outer Mongolia, Miss Drill, then there must be an Inner Mongolia. I've brought back such wonderful things I can't wait to show you. How about some sour yak's milk? It's been fermented for six months. It does wonders to the intestines. Not just now, Miss Bat. Oh, well, suit yourself. <laughs> Has anyone seen anything of Miss Gimlet? No, but the mailman gave me this. On the way up. Looks like her writing. I have been to the mountains of the moon, Miss Drill. Really? I have spoken with Leo Chao Zing, the master of Mongolian undertone chanting. I've learnt the secrets of Fu Chai, the soul song of the Shainan. It's very pretty. Would you like to hear it? Kimono, kaftan, rucksack, flip flops. That was hardly necessary. The school walls were beginning to shake, Miss Cackle. I thought we were under attack by evil Agatha and her wicked witches. That's Mongolian undertone chanting. It does things. So I see. I hope it isn't going to do them too often. Uh, how are the new girls? Meek as lambs. Although I can't vouch for those two you sent off with Mildred. It's year two that concerns me. I can sense something undisciplined sprouting amongst the second years and it needs rooting out. I would suggest, Headmistress, that Miss Gimlet organise a full class inspection first thing tomorrow. Where is she, by the way? Ah, oh, yes, Miss Hardbroom. That's something I think we need to discuss. There are good sides to cackles, you know. It's not always damp and cold. Just nearly always. <laughs> you get pizza on Saturdays and cold gray slop for the rest of the week. Our rooms are on the floor above. I've got bats in mine, winky, blinky, and nod. Would you like to see them? Look, we'll have Harbour in here in a minute if you carry on like this. She just appears from nowhere. They say she turned her first ear into a frog once for making a racket like this. Really? Yes, and there's a frog in the school pond, and they say it's her. Is that true, Mildred? I've never heard that before. I think so. Phew! I'm glad we got Gimlet this year. She's gone? Gone where? The Inner Hebrides. Miss Gimlet needed to recover from a state of nervous exhaustion. Brought on, no doubt, by the mere thought of a year with Mildred Hubble. We'll need an immediate replacement. Miss Cackle? I've never had the chance to be a class tutor, Miss Cackle. Neither have I. You have. Only for a term. Yes, because you changed the whole class into swallows and migrated with them for the winter. It was very educational and very warm. Really? Well, while you were off swigging sour milk, pretending to hover like a lawnmower, I was learning some very practical tips while working in summer camp. Early morning phys ed and group motivation. That's what those second years need. I believe that when I see it. Seeing sense, Miss Bat, is not your strong point. No? Well, I can see something that nobody else can. What's that, Miss Bat? Two pairs of flapping ears over by the door. Out. Oh, but Miss Cackle said we should... Oh. Who 
is to be the replacement second year tutor, Miss Cackle. We need a clear, firm decision here and now. Oh no. No, Gimlet? It's not the end of the world. At least you won't have HB. It'll be either Bat or Drill. I hope it's Miss Bat. Why? Because Miss Drill make us do extra phys ed. No thanks. Miss Drill does plays. Not that you'll get any lead parts, though, Moonface. You don't have the style for it. Shame you didn't do a better job on your nose, Ethel. Yeah, it's just as stuck up as your old one. <laughs> Watch that mouth, Mildred. It's all right, Drusilla. I'm not some poor first year she can make burst into tears. Good afternoon, girls. Got some exciting news for you. Miss Drill and I will be sharing the role of class tutor for the time being. <sighs> now, for the way of Leo Chao Zing, the effortless effort and the sound of the spheres on the undertone of the cosmos. Oh, one dong cow dong dim so. Come, girls. Oh, cow dong one dong dim so. Going up. And a side, and a forward, and a forward, going up. Side, get ready to turn, away we go. And turn, 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 that's it girls, move your heads, go on, swing the bodies, get ready. Six, seven, and. We're young witches and, and we're glad to be. Training at the academy. Come Strength on Ethel, and more commitment. That's our way. I can't Keep stand much more of this. What we need is hard room back. And turn, and a turn, and... Dr. Fui says, what was our original face? So, deep breath in, everyone. And away we go. Pancake roll, sweet sour sauce. Oh, no, 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 do you remember it? I don't know, but it was really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, not again. Ignore her. No, wait. Look, Sybil, that frog in the pond I was telling you about, it's probably just a frog. Don't do a foul spell on us, please. Terrorizing the first years again, Mildred? No, not exactly. I didn't say anything, Ethel. Honest, about you and me being... Sybil, stop babbling on. You know, I'm not sure Mildred means to be horrible. Oh, In for fact, goodness she's... sake, don't fall for that sweet talk. She's just two-faced, and the sooner you realize that, the better. Listen, you two. How are you getting on with HB? <sighs> she's awful. She terrifies me. Well, we're having a really painful time with bat and drill. So we've got a little proposition to put to you. A two-pronged plan that will relieve our pain. And make you two a lot more comfortable. And get our own back on Mildred Hubble and her gang at the same time. I thought the girls were really focused by my group empowerment session this morning. I thought they were really energized by the Mongolian undertone chanting. The whole school was. We lost another half dozen tiles off the roof. Well, if you make an omelette, Miss Cackle, you have to break a few heads. You mean eggs. Do I? Really, Miss Cackle, don't you think it's time we put an end to this ridiculous contest? I beg your pardon? Make a decision, Miss Cackle, about which one is to be the replacement second-year tutor. There are rival gangs of supporters running round the school like football fans. It's unseemly. Well, I think it's important to arrive at the right match, so to speak. Don't you, Miss Hardbroom? School rules have been openly flouted, Miss Cackle. It has come to my notice that Mildred and her friends have been secreting jewellery and other fashion items. It's a grey area, Miss Hardbroom. The girls are all growing up. I want you to leave it to Miss Drill and Miss Bat. See how they deal with it. But they will... I'll make my decision, Miss Hardbroom. When the time is ripe. There's something about that, Sybil. She's getting under your skin. Forget her. 
something familiar, but I can't think what. Don't you think you've put enough sugar on that already, Mildred Hubble? Yes, Miss Harper. Ooh. Life might be sweet for you and your friends at the moment, Mildred, but I want you to know that whoever may be your class tutor, I am the deputy head of Cackles Academy, and no secrets remain hidden from me. You were lucky, Mildred. I was sure HB had seen your earrings. Yes, I think I better not wear them for the time being. You might have just got away with it with Miss Drill. Miss Bat wouldn't have minded, especially if I told they're from Mongolia. Oh, come on, Mildred. Drill is so much better. Ruby, I can't you believe you still that? think Ms. that. Bat's what about all those so jumping fun. jacks? You don't even do any work. It's so easy. Is in the academy. Lie in bed, that's our way. Eat sweets, lays about every day. <laughs> Ruby! Well, I'm sorry, Miss Drill, but from what I've seen, You'll need much more class control if you expect to be in charge of the second years. It won't happen again. Now, I want you all to focus on the energies of the cosmos while Mildred here attempts level two of Mongolian undertone chanting. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Come on, everyone. Focus. Now, to enter the mystical mind state of the Mongolian masters, Mildred must swallow a little fermented yak's milk. Ew. Just one spoonful of water to drink. Lactis, acidicus, yakis, eruptus. <laughs> raided my room and stolen my sunglasses. And my necklace. And my fake tattoo. Ethel. No. Look. C and S. C and S. Clarice and Sybil. Can't be. Only one way to find out. Perfect. Phase two. After you. The trouble is, I'm not sure whether Miss Bat or Miss Drill are quite up to it. Oh, they seem to be totally unable to control them. Well, they're a very lively bunch, our second years. Slackness, Miss Cackle. It begins with earrings, and it ends with rowdiness, bullying, and gang warfare. Over these first few days, the second years have become the proverbial powder keg, ready to explode. <laughs> Well? Sorry to disturb you, Miss Hardbroom, but we thought we had to come and tell you at once. What have you done with my shades from Barcelona? And my fake tattoo? Here, Melly, look at this. Hold on, what's the big secret? Good grief. It's Sybil with Ethel. Take a look at this envelope, then. Look who it's addressed to. Sybil Hallow. 
You're her sister. You're Ethel's sister. I knew there was something familiar about her. We'd have spotted it right away if Ethel hadn't given herself a witch over. She made me swear not to tell anyone. She hates people knowing I'm her sister. She put you up to this, didn't she? Didn't she? <gasps> Bullying and victimization. Enid, Mildred, Maud, Ruby, Jardu, down to Miss Cackle's office at once! Excuse me a moment, Miss Hardbroom. I should like to talk to Sybil and Clarice first, if I may, on their own. Wait outside my room till I arrive. Thank you, Miss Hardbroom. Come in, come in, all of you. Ah, Ethel. I'm so glad Miss Hardbroom found you. Your sister Sybil, Clarice and I have been having a most interesting talk. It seems that apart from one or two flights of fancy about a frog in our pond, Mildred and her friends have offered nothing but kindness to the first years. But before we continue with our little chat, I should like to confirm that all these items belong to you. Yes, Miss Cackle. Yes, Miss Cackle. Yes, Miss Cackle. Yes, Miss Cackle. Yes, Mildred. Mildred. They will be returned to you at the end of term. And I see no reason, Ethel and Drusilla, why you should look so pleased with yourselves. As I understand it, you were the ones responsible for the mayhem in the bedrooms and for disrupting Miss Batts and Miss Drill's class this afternoon. What are you to say for yourselves? Sorry, Miss Cackle. It's no use apologizing to me. You must apologize to them. In front of the whole school. In tomorrow's assembly. Yes, Miss Cackle. Very well. You may return to your seats. There will always be change. Life is change. But standards must not be allowed to slip. Which is why I have decided that Miss Bat shall take over responsibility for class one for the first half of term and Miss Drill for the second half. I have also decided, as class two will no doubt be delighted to hear, that Miss Hardbroom will replace Miss Gimlet as their class tutor for another year. On your feet, girls. Breathe in. Here we go again. Shadow 